I've, I've found peace with all the music I do. It's everything I love and it means so much to me. Street performers of all kind are collectively known as buskers. Buskers are famous here in the city of Manchester and are the life and soul of the empty streets. My name is Matt, uh, Matt Friars. Uh, I started doing music about 10 years ago. Um, I play gigs all over the place, but obviously when you're a musician you have to make hands meet, kind of hands to mouth. So as well as gigs and all the work, busking is a way to get your music heard and make a bit of money in the process. So my name is Lewis and I um, originally started busking because I, uh, I actually got made redundant from my job. Um, and I was like, ah, what do I do? And my friend uh, was a musician. Um, I was in a band, he could play guitar and I could do a little bit of singing. Um, and he's like, oh, come out with me. You play the guitar, uh, sorry, I'll play the guitar. You sing and we'll, and we'll try and earn your car insurance money. So we ended up doing it and after about two, three weeks, took a long graft, finally got uh, the car insurance money. And then I ended up getting a job again. Um, so I was happy days and I was going about doing it, doing the busking just as a side thing and then eventually quit my job for it because I realised I wanted to travel much further than the town I'm from which is Bolton. Um, so I did that, my parents were very supportive, things like that and then I just started travelling around and I just, yeah, just sleeping in hotels, sleeping at cousins, wherever you can and yeah, just getting around. <laughs> um, I played video game music here, can you, can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I played 8-bit uh, video game music. stand around, they tap the feet, but when you get people out in public, they do extra stuff, so you get people joining in, you get kids dancing away, it's cool man, it's a cool experience. Free to play whenever you want, whatever you want, to whoever you want, at whatever time, you know, you're completely, completely, completely free. That horse scale. You're pretty blind, you'd be pretty blind, I just have to have gone to work, or gone to me to be, and just gone home, I wouldn't have stopped here today, and I've got, um, not much to do and um, obviously he's filled up a bit of my time by um, giving me a bit of joy with his voice, he's got an amazing voice. Um, as you've seen, he's literally over there, he's got his back to us frankly. Um, people bothering me. Usually the worst is people coming up to grab your microphone to make a song. And then you have to stop or you have to tell them to go away. Or I did do it in my snow. I did it in my snow for like two hours. Apparently not a particularly employable person. I mean I was 25 minutes late. But that means it's hard for me to get another job and once I'm looking for something else, I might as well go. Uh, yeah, I've seen the highs and the lows. Uh, when you're out in public, you see um, the best of the best and the worst of the worst. So you get to see really nice people and you get to see people who will take the fillings out of your teeth if they have half a chance, so yeah. The real, real struggle is, is all the way through winter, all the way through Christmas, it's absolutely freezing. You know, in some mornings, yeah, so some mornings I was in and it's like minus three, you know, and it's really, really cold, so you've got to sit there for hours and really warm up, you know. And so when you're, on, you're only making a little bit of money as well for that, it really doesn't feel worth it, but when you're in the summer, and you just get this amazing times where you can, like I've done today, a really loud speaker to as many people as I can, you know, just having real good fun. It really makes up for all the bad times that you have during winter. Um, yes, there are people who 
might think that they're charitable, but we'll walk past like 10 homeless people in a row and then come up to me and be like, have this, and I'm like, I would rather you do it to the homeless people because I'm doing this to make money, whereas they need that. And then also, um, homeless people give me money. It makes me so uncomfortable, but quite frequently they'll insist that I keep it, and I'm like, no, you need it. People are quite judgmental as well, and you have to just block that out. Yeah, I'd say I wouldn't. I'd say I wouldn't want to work for somebody again. You know, and I sort of, and I have this real, real big respect towards any artist doing anything. Whereas when I was going through college, things like that, if I saw any any bit of culture or any bit of art, never really sort of understood how much effort and how much work that person maybe put in. Uh, I don't really think about it too deeply. I just, I just do it. Uh, I just, I just like doing it. Like. A lot of people see it, well did see it as it was a form of begging years ago, but it's not like that now. Uh, it's a genuine thing, street performing, if you go to any city in England, you'll find street performers in, and they bring life to the city. So the one thing I'd advise people to do is don't be disheartened, you know, have a bit of confidence where you, when you rock up, make sure your mic's up, make sure you're loud, make sure everybody can hear you and you know, people will respond to your music if you like it. And playing music and doing things that just to please somebody else it might get you more money, but it's never going to make you happy. You know, um, I've, I've found peace with all the music I do. It's everything I love, and it mean, means so much to me because, of, you know, like I say, I've spent hours and hours and just countless years just really putting all my efforts into it. You know, so if I didn't have that pride about my work, you know, I wouldn't feel right. So I think that's the main thing: have some pride about what you do. You know, really make it something that you want. You want to deliver to people. You know. Don't be shy and you know, if you're not ready then you're not ready, you know. You just need to maybe need to wait. Um play something you like. Uh, try to get something that they like as well, or else uh, you won't get any money. particular city, Manchester City Centre wouldn't be the same without the buskers. You know, people are used to coming here and hear, hearing music on the streets and I think it just brings a lot more uh, diversity to a city centre than, over, than just tramps begging for money, do you know what I mean? Well, I, I think you'd actually be surprised when you actually sort of venture out of England, it's not a part of modern culture. It's, um, my girlfriend, she's French, um, and there it's, it's not a thing, you know, I mean, it's, you might get the occasional acoustic person with no amplifier, but I'd say busking is very much a, an English and an American thing. Well, in this country it is, in, in Europe, uh, I get pretty good respect, you know, I, you can make a living doing this. Uh, in Liverpool it's kind of a bit tight, the, the money, but uh, here it's uh, a lot more, a lot more uh, 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 gratitude. Well, he's got an absolutely amazing voice. Do you know what, right? A job's a job. A job's a job, and if you can get a few pennies out of it, yeah, from whatever you do, then we'll look to you. Well done. I, think that I suppose it's not really part of our society as much as people would like to think because people always just presume buskers are going to be there, but I mean, unless you're the busker doing it, or unless you know, some, know a busker doing it, there's no one actually doing it. So when I very first started about five years ago, there was there was not many actual acoustic um, singers like me who were busking on the streets. I think it's mainly in the past three years where it's really, really risen up. Um, but yeah, I think that's just sort of it's just what people love. People love music. People just love people love being entertained, you know. And it's just something that you can do on a Saturday when you're out shopping, you know, just drop a bit of money in and they give you a smile, you know. So yeah, so I suppose it's uh, it'll always stay. Yeah, definitely.